hey beautiful people all praises to the most high god i hope everyone is blessed um you know if i don't have a message from god or a teaching from him then i really don't have a video for you so um this is what god wants me to let you know and um uh, um this is a word from him a just weight and a just balance so the word from god is this is his words a just weight and a just balance the same measure shall be meted out to you by weight the same measure you meted out either good or evil shall be meted out to you and here's some scriptures he wants me to read to you and um according to his word a just weight and a just balance so psalms 89 and 14 justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne so judgment and justice are the habitation of god's throne mercy and truth shall go before thy face so in malachi 3 and 5 he says and i will come near unto you to judgment and i will be a swift witness against the sorcerers and against the adulterers and against false swearers and against those that oppress the hairling in his wage the widow and the fatherless and that turn aside the stranger from his right and fear not me says the lord of hosts so god is judging all these things and um the same measure you measured out to someone either good or evil is going to be measured out to you because everything god weighs you know like the justice scales god weighs everything you do so that's why you should repent and um deuteronomy 32 and 4 he is the rock his work is perfect for all his ways are judgment so you had to know god judges everything and a god of truth and without iniquity just so god is just and right is he so he's going to judge you justly according to your ways deuteronomy 25 and 15 but thou shall have a perfect and just weight. So people are supposed to have a perfect and just weight in everything. With paying somebody, with everything you do. A perfect and just measure shall thou have. That thy, even in judgment, so in, in judging somebody, you're not supposed to judge. Because the same measure you meet is the same judgment you're going to get. We're going to get into the scriptures he wants me to read. I'll break that down. So you could judge righteous judgment, but to the same measure you meted out to someone, it'll be meted out to you. So like this, when God, as I said, God judges everything and people have to be careful. Be, with with the thing, if you've been sowing good, you know good is coming to you. You're just weak, the balance God will give you that balance of your good your reward of your good if you've been doing evil well that say that god's going to measure it by weight and he's going to send that evil to you all right that thy days may be lengthened in the land which the lord thy god gives thee now god you had to know god is the same just god from the old testament to the new testament so it tells you he's a just god in deuteronomy leviticus and now we're in revelations 15 and 3 god will always be just and they sing the song of moses the servant of god and the song of the lamb saying great and marvelous are thy works lord god almighty just and true are all thy ways thou king of saints so you know god is always going to be just now Isaiah 45 and 21, tell ye and bring them near. Yeah, let them take counsel together. Who has declared this from ancient time? Who has told it from that time? Have not I the Lord? And there is no God beside me, a just God and a savior. There is none beside me. Isaiah 45 and 22, look unto me and be ye saved all the ends of the earth for I am God and there is none else. I have sworn by myself the word is gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return that unto me every knee shall bow and every tongue shall swear. Now Leviticus 19 and 35 to 36, ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment, in meat yard, in weight, or in measure, just balances, just weights, a just effing, and a just hen shall you have. I am the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt. Now, 2 Samuel 23 and 3. The God of Israel said, The rock of Israel spake to me. He that rules over men must be just. 
ruling in the fear of God. So those who rule over men, they must be just ruling in the fear of God because judgment and justice are the habitation of God's throne. And if you want to rule over God's people, that's why he picks the ruler. And that's why people shouldn't nominate themselves to be rulers because they're going to judge unrighteously and they're not going to weigh it in the balance. Job 28 and 24, for he looks to the ends of the earth and sees under the whole heaven to make the weight for the winds and he weighs the waters by measure. So God weighs everything, even the weight for the winds, even the winds God's weighs, even the water God weighs by measure and he's going to weigh you and your works, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Proverbs 16 and 11, a just weight and balance are the Lord's. All the weights of the bag are his work. Now, this is what he wants me to talk to you about judgment. Matthew 7 and 2, for with what judgment you judge, you shall be judged. So whatever you judge someone with, you're going to be judged with it. And with what measure you meet, it shall be measured to you again. And Mark 4 and 24, and he said unto them, take heed what you hear with what measure you meet. It shall be measured to you and unto you that hear shall more be given. Proverbs 11 and 1, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Proverbs 20 and 23, diverse weights are an abomination unto the Lord and a false balance is not good. Now, Job 31 and 6, let me be weighed in an even balance that God may know my integrity. So you hear what Job says? Job had the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding knowing that God weighs all things and that God will weigh him for his integrity, his good that he's sown, or, if, or for evil that he's sown. Like, that's why he says, let me be weighed in an even balance that God may know my integrity. That's why I told you people don't compromise your integrity and your morality for anything or anyone. Luke 6 and 38, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure pressed down and shaken together and running over shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that you meet with all shall it be measured to you again. Now 2 Corinthians 10 and 13, but we will not boast of things without our measure. But according to the measure of the rule, which God has distributed to us, a measure to reach even unto you, everything is measured with God. Did you hear? They're not going to boast. God is no respecter of persons, people. Everybody's going to be judged, whether you're rich, whether you're poor, whether you're small, whether you're great, whether you're known or you're unknown, God knows you. Acts 10 and 34. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. You can't buy God. <clears throat> All right? You had to do the things to please him to get into his presence, right? Matthew 23 and 28. Um, Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within... You are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because you build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sculptures of the righteous, and say, If we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Wherefore, you be witnesses unto yourself that you are the children of them which killed the prophets. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers." So God's even weighing the measure of this people who've killed the prophets. Ye serpents, you generation of vipers, how can you escape the damnation of hell? How? You had to repent. Isaiah 65 and 5 to 6, which say, stand, this is what God doesn't like. This is why I have to read this because we'll want to use scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because the things that they do outward, Lee, they appear righteous unto men, but within they are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. God is judging them, and that's why he doesn't like it at all. People who are hypocrites, which say, Stand by thyself, come not near me, for I am holier than thou. 
These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burns all the day. Hypocrites are a smoke in God's nose, people who act like they're holier than thou. These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burns all the day. Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will recompense, even recompense into their bosom. So that's a just weight and a just balance. Because God said he's not going to keep silent for the hypocrites and those who think they're holier than thou. And tell you to stand by yourself, who outcast people and act like they're better than people. God said, behold, it's written before me, I will not keep silent. God won't keep silent to such people, but he will recompense, even recompense into their bosom. So what they meted out to another, it will surely be met out to them. Now, Psalm 62 and 9, surely men, this is what God's telling you of men like this. Surely men of low degree are vanity and men of high degree are a lie. To be laid in the balance, so everything's laid in the balance, everything's weighed, they are altogether lighter than vanity. Isaiah 40 and 12, who has measured the waters? So see, as I told you, Job told you that God measures the waters and he measures the winds. Now Isaiah's telling you, who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand and meted out heaven with the span and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure. So the heavens are measured. The dust of the earth is measured, the waters are measured, the wind is measured, and you're measured. And weighed the mountains, the mountains are weighed in the, in scales, and the hills in balance. He's asking you, who did that? God did that. And just how he weighed all such things, and he meted out such things, it, it's the same with his creation, his people with their works and their deeds. So if you sown good, good will be coming to you. If you sown evil, evil will be coming to you. You have to have a just weight and a just balance and what you meted out will be met out onto you. Isaiah 26 and seven, the way of the just is uprightness. Thou most upright does weigh the path of the just. What does God do? He weighs the path of the just. He weighs the path of people. If you're walking in, he tells you to walk in the righteous path. He tells you to depart from evil, to walk in a plain path. So even the path that you walk, whether it be good or evil, you're going to be judged and he's going to weigh it. 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment. So your light affliction is only but for a moment. Works for us a far more exceeding an eternal weight of glory. Your reward for the affliction that you suffered is eternal weight of glory. Glory. Right? Job 4 and 17. Shall mortal men be more just than God? Shall a man be more pure than his maker? Absolutely not. All things God weighs in the measure and in the balance. So, as you can see, we're going to go back up. We're going to go to Luke. I'm gonna get the scripture of Luke. Did I pass it? I think I passed it. Give me one second. I think it went a bit too quick. No, I guess it's a little bit more down. Forgive me. Because we're here gonna go into a few more scriptures that I just didn't put over here. Yeah. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure pressed down and shaken together and running over shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that you meet, with all, it shall be measured to you again, whether good, whether evil. Now, Proverbs 21 and 3. To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Psalms 119 and 121. I have done judgment and justice. Leave me not to my oppressors. Psalm, I mean, Proverbs 1 and 3. To receive the instruction of wisdom, justice and judgment and equity. Now, Isaiah 56 and 1, thus says the Lord, keep ye judgment and do justice for my salvation is near to come and my righteousness to be revealed. Job 37 and 23, touching the Almighty, we cannot find him out. He is excellent in power and in judgment and in plenty of justice he will not afflict. 
So justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. Mercy and truth go before thee. God doesn't like the perverting of judge, judgment. Now, because he does not pervert judgment. Job 8 and 3. Does God pervert judgment? Or does the Almighty pervert justice? He doesn't. And he tells people, do not pervert judgment, nor pervert justice. Justice must be served. Righteous judgment. Righteous justice must be served to all. Behold, the days come. This is Jeremiah 23 and 5. Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. These things are God's delight. God made kings to do righteous judgment and justice. Now, this is what God doesn't like, the perverting of judge judgment and justice. Ecclesiastes 5 and 8. If thou seest the oppression of the poor, God doesn't like oppression of the poor. He doesn't like oppression. That's why in Psalms, um, a lot of prayers say for God to destroy the oppressors, right? If thou seest oppression of the poor and violent perverting of judgment and justice in a province, marvel not at the matter. For he that is higher than the highest regards it, that's God, and there be higher than they, that's God, the higher than they. God regards every, anything and everything. And if people are perverting judgment and justice, God is, what is he doing? He's weighing them in the balance because the same measure that they meted out is going to be met out to them. Now God in Isaiah, I mean Ezekiel 45 and 9. Thus says the Lord God, let it suffice you, O princes of Israel. Remove violence and spoil. So yeah, remove violence and spoil and execute judgment and justice. Take away your ex exactions from my people, says the Lord God. God does not like extortion, extaction, spoiling and violence no and perverting judgment and justice so um i'm gonna stop it there um because the message i'll read it back to you so you know the word that god gave me to read to you no he made me write it and then i typed it so you can know it word from god a just weight and a just balance the same measure shall be meted out to you by weight the same measure you meted out, either good or evil, shall be meted out to you. Stay blessed, beautiful people of God. And when I have a next message from God, and he teaches me something to teach you, then I will have a next video. Stay blessed.